Well, good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. A community on edge tonight, hours after ICE enforcement at a neighborhood pizza shop. Route 66 Pizza in the East Side neighborhood is now closed after ICE agents detained workers this morning. That's where CBS 2's Tara Molina is live. And Tara, you're learning more about how many people were taken from the store today. Brad and Erica, we are told five people were detained here today, and those five people, the five working at the time. Folks who live and work around here say that law enforcement showed up around 11 this morning. Yeah, it's pretty upsetting and sad. How Lydia feels about the sign on the door at Route 66 Pizza, where five workers were detained by ICE. Very friendly people. The neighborhood favorite is just feet from her east side home. I hope that they're able to, you know, talk with, you know, groups and see what can be resolved. So they wanted to wait to see what they heard from these folks. A couple blocks away, we found the local group that's stepping up. It was pretty heartbreaking for some of the family members. The United Workers Center. We heard that the owner may have been detained. Is that information that you've confirmed? Um, that's information I'm not willing to give at the moment. We want to be careful what information we provide out there, but um, we have been in contact with every worker, uh, relative from every worker at the moment. Um, we're still trying to ensure that they all have the proper legal representation. CBS2 reached ICE for more information, asking what happened, why, and is it happening elsewhere? A public affairs officer told us, quote, for operational security and for privacy reasons, ICE cannot disclose the details of this targeted enforcement. And, quote, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement focuses its limited resources first and foremost by targeting those who pose the greatest threat to public safety and border security. And our officers make arrests every single day. You can read the full statement that ICE officials sent to us. It's up on our website right now. As for what's next, I'm told the five detained here today are being held downtown tonight. Of course, we'll follow up on those next steps. Reporting live in Chicago's east side neighborhood tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Erica? Tara, thank you.